Hello friends, it's Dizzy. Today, I wanna draw a rocket with you. Oh, yeah. Would you like to draw a rocket? What? what? Well, let's give it a shot. I got a blue pencil, I've got a black pencil to lock in all the details, and I've got the sketchy sketchbook pad with beautiful white premium paper. It's so smooth and soft. I don't know exactly how we're gonna start. So, let's just get started. Huh? First thing I'm gonna do is draw a angle like this. And I'm gonna draw a parallel line on this side and on this side. I'm gonna draw a cross line like this and a cross line like this. So we've got basically a long rectangle on the center of this long line. I'm gonna create a C shape like that, or an oval. That's, that's what an oval is, that's not a C shape. And I'll do the same thing here, but only a little bit fatter. See how it's fatter here and narrower here? It's because of perspective. It means that the, the further things are away as a cylinder, the rounder, the more over, o, oval they get. That is true! Let's kind of connect these dots, these lines a little together. Now, uh, about right here, I'm gonna draw another perpendicular line and then another oval, about the same dimension as this one. Now, where these two lines meet, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna connect them like that. Now over here, I'm going to create another oval and another oval. And these are where the fins are gonna be. I'm gonna divide this oval into thirds, okay? Let's put one right here, one right here, and then one over here on the other side that you'll never see. But if they, we could see it, it would be right there on the back. So I will draw a line from here, this oval to this oval, following this line and this oval to this oval, following this line. And then let's try, let's draw a um, flat, oh, crap. flat line there and a flat line here. They kind of like, actually, you can see that they kind of start in the center of this oval and they come straight out, straight out. Now let's draw a line that's parallel to this one here, and it's parallel to this one here. And just for fun, where these lines intersect the oval there, let's just create a curve. Because there's so many straight lines in this thing. So curve to that point, curve to that point, like an old fashioned rocket. Sweet. Now, Let's draw a rocket booster. I'm gonna draw one single rocket booster that's huge. So bigger than this one, let's extend this line. I'm gonna draw a great big oval. Remember, it's gotta be the same distance from here to here and here to here. So same, same. And one of the ways you can do that is by using your pencil and put your tip of your pencil on the line and then grab where your pencil touches the line. And then, oh, this is where, see? Same, same. And I'll do a U shape here. Or, here we go. Come on, U shape, silly. I don't know what the deal is. In fact, let's make sure, look, it looks a little bit ski wampus. See how this is bigger than this one? So I'm gonna make sure that they're the same. So I'm gonna make this one skinnier. And make this one a little bit fatter. There we go. And this is why I use a blue pencil. Cause I'm just figuring things out as I go. So we want all these quarters, segments, to look the same. Now, I'm going to create a line that goes from inside here 
this corner. And we're not even gonna care about this line here. We don't want that line. But we'll darken up this one. Okay, that's a huge booster. So pretend this that line doesn't even exist. Let's darken up this line. Now, let's draw a capsule where all the people sit on this boot, this rocket. That's where things get really hard. So, I'm going to create a straight line here, and a straight line here. And then, let's make this thing so enormous. See how we made this taper right here? We're going to do the same thing right here. So, let's draw another oval this and then that's and then we'll draw another oval right here so it's centered same here same here and then I'm gonna connect the lines <laughs> let's do it again and then let's just draw comes to a point. There we go. And let's draw a little triangle. Bink. Little skinny triangle. And let's put little little portholes so our little astronauts can see out the windows. That's so awesome. Let's create some uh, some bent shapes. Parallel to this outside line. And then see how this curves? It's gonna curve too. And this is gonna curve, follow the same kind of shape. So there is a vent. And then maybe over here, the same. We'll do another vent. And if I go too fast, that's what the pause button is for. Just pause it and then catch up. It'll be so, so easy. Let's lock in all the details with a black pencil. I'm going to start with this triangle right here. And I can fix things as I go. Like I can straighten out this curve a little bit. Add the porthole. Now I'm, I'm gonna ignore this curve, and I'm only gonna do this curve. Only gonna do this curve. Only do this curve. Only do this curve. Let's come down here, only do this curve. Only do this curve. Finish this booster. And draw these bins. I don't know, bins, stabilizers, I don't know. And curve. Curve. Let's draw this little vent. And I'm just going to go. Now let's draw the, the sides of this rocket. And now I'm gonna use the side of my pencil to kind of shade in some things. I'm gonna start like right about a third of the way down. And I'm going to lightly lift up my pencil as I get closer to the bottom. Sweet. And then this is going to be in shade too. So I'm going to shade this in. Now let's draw like some fire. Oh. 
I'm gonna draw some arky shapes like this with that booster. Just scribble some of those in. And I'm going to just create some just fun shapes. To make it look like it's been worked on for a little bit. See how I'm using these curved lines? They follow the same curves. And let's draw like a moon over here. Just a little moon. And just for fun, let's draw a little flying saucer. And they're going, what the heck is going on over there? That rocket, it's going so fast and it's so cool. How come we don't have a rocket like that? That's what they're saying, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a fake laugh. It's real. Well, I hope you had fun drawing this spaceship with me. Be sure to subscribe so you can see all my great lessons. See you later.